It's the first time in five days that Nadir can enter this room in his home. He says he and his family were asleep when the waters came cascading. He's now trying to salvage what he can. We escaped with the clothes on our back and left everything behind. The waters came from a valley in the east and kept rising quickly. It's only this morning that some streams that were blocked were opened and the levels have gone down a bit, but water keeps coming. More than 60 houses in Nadir's neighborhood have been partially or completely destroyed by the rising waters, the result of heavy rains coming off the mountains and swelling rivers. People say it's the worst they've seen in years. This used to be part of my home, but the walls and ceilings have collapsed. My savings were in this room as well as important documents. All have been washed away along with some things I brought to sell people. Officials say at least 10,000 people have been affected and more than 2,000 have been displaced. Sudan's government says more floods are expected in many parts of the country during the annual rainy season in August and has urged those at risk to take necessary precautions. While some families have opted to stay in their homes despite the floods, others had no option but to leave. The state authorities have been criticized for not acting fast enough. And as it's only the start of the rainy season, it's feared that more houses are in danger of collapse and that more people will suffer. This school is where some families have sought refuge. Many are still waiting for aid days after the floods and concerns are growing over lack of basic necessities. There are elderly people here with us, and there are kids who need urgent care. They need food and medicines. The government needs to act immediately. Others are also calling on aid organizations for assistance. The floods have brought with it snakes and scorpions, and we need anti-venom drugs. We need international aid organizations to step in and help before things get worse, as the rain season continues. al Fao is one of the underdeveloped rural areas in Sudan and Nadir worries it will take too long before they get the help they need. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Al-Fao, Gadarif, Sudan.